Whether you're grinding through endless assignments in school, striving for a degree in college, or simply on a journey of lifelong learning, you know the struggle of trying to stay on top of your workload. Well, today I'm going to tell you about four tools that will be super helpful for ambitious students like you that will make you way more efficient and maximize your productivity. The first tool on our list is a PDF reader and editor called UPDF, which is also the sponsor of today's video. This software is designed to provide users with a simple and intuitive interface that makes it easy to navigate and manipulate PDF files. One of the standout features of UPDF is its annotation tools. Whether you're looking to highlight important information, add notes or comments, or even insert your own signature, UPDF has got you covered. There is a variety of tools, so let's just go over them. Firstly, there's text lines like strike through, underline, and squiggly. We also have highlights that you can have many different colors of. There's sticky notes where you can add comments or notes for a specific part of the document. There's text comments and a text box tool. You can add your own signatures. There's also an assortment of stickers. And there's also stamps, where you can also make your own custom stamps. It's very straightforward and easy to do. So yes, you'll be able to customize your PDFs in any way you see fit. UPDF also allows you to draw with a pencil and add shapes to your documents. Whether you're highlighting important sections or you just want to add a little creativity to your work. These features give you complete control over the look and feel of your PDFs, which I really like. Of course, editing isn't just about adding content. Sometimes you need to move or adjust what's already there. So you can easily move the text, you can add more text, you can add images and even links. and organize files of your document any way you see fit. Another great feature of this tool is its ability to add bookmarks. Whether you're working on a lengthy document or just want to keep track of key sections, bookmarks allow you to quickly navigate your PDFs with ease. This is especially useful for students or professionals who need to reference specific sections of their documents on a regular basis. But what if you need to share your PDFs with others? UPDF allows you to export your PDF to any of these following formats like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, RTF, HTML, and more. Or, if you simply just want to export the document as an image, you can do that too. This means you can easily share your work in whichever format you need to. Overall, this is my go-to PDF reader and editor compared to all of the other ones that I've tried before. And I like how it gives me more creative freedom with my documents. This next tool is a Google Chrome extension that is perfect for staying organized and efficient when doing research online. It's called Wayava Highlighter. And I've talked about this tool in my Google Chrome extensions video before, but I definitely think that it deserves to be mentioned again. Wayava allows you to highlight and organize information from any web page or PDF. It's a great tool for students because it can help you streamline your research process and keep all of your information organized in one place. So let me tell you a little bit more about how it works. Once you've installed the Wayava extension, you can start highlighting text on any web page or PDF by simply clicking and dragging your cursor over the text. Wayava will automatically save your highlights and organize them by color 
making it easy to differentiate between different types of information. But that's not all. You can also add notes to your highlights. This means you can add your own comments or thoughts to any piece of information, making it easier to remember why you saved it in the first place. Plus, with Weava, you can organize your highlights into different folders. So, I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you're working on a history project and you need to keep track of different time periods. You can create a folder for each time period and save all of your highlights and notes in the appropriate folder. I've found Weava or Weava to be incredibly useful for my own research. It has saved me so much time and effort. Rather than trying to remember which source I found the information from, I can simply go to my Weava folder and just find everything I need there. Overall, I think Weava is definitely worth checking out if you like the idea of having all of your research and information organized. Now, if you've struggled to brainstorm and organize all of your ideas for a paper, project, or presentation, well, let me tell you about a tool that will help you with all of that. It's an online whiteboard platform called Miro. You start by creating a board. This is essentially a blank canvas where you can add text, images, and other files to help you organize your ideas. You can also invite others to collaborate on the board with you, making it easy to work on a project as a group. One of the things I love about Miro is its flexibility. You can use it for a wide range of tasks, from brainstorming, to, from brainstorming and mind mapping to creating flowcharts and diagrams and diagrams. And with the ability to add sticky notes, comments, and tags to your elements, you can keep everything organized and easy to find. But that's not all. Miro also has a variety of templates available that can help you get started on your project. For example, if you're working on a project related to marketing, you can use the marketing template to help you get started. This can save you a lot of time and effort in the brainstorming and planning stages of your project. Perhaps the best thing about Miro is its ease of use. You don't need to have any special skills or knowledge to get started. I remember when I started using Miro for the first time, I got it pretty much immediately. You simply drag and drop elements onto your board and start collaborating with others or just even brainstorm solo. Overall, I think Miro is an amazing tool for students. Personally, it has helped me collect my thoughts and ideas for a project before, and it can help you collaborate more efficiently with others. The last tool is for when you're struggling to write high quality content that is also free of errors, or when you simply just want your basic sentences to sound better. Quillbot is the go-to tool for that. It's the writing tool that's here to make your life easier. Now, let's just take a look at some of the free features that make Quillbot a must-have for anyone looking to improve their writing. First off, Quillbot's most popular and main feature is its paraphrasing tool. That's actually how I discovered Quillbot. If you're someone who struggles with finding the right words to convey your message, this tool is perfect for you. Simply input your text and Quillbot will provide you with a paraphrased version that still retains the original meaning. This is especially useful for when you're trying to avoid plagiarism or when you're looking to reword a passage to make it sound better. Another great feature of Quillbot is its summarization tool. This tool is perfect for those who need to quickly summarize long articles or documents. Just input your text and Quillbot will provide you with a condensed version that includes the most important points. This can save you a lot of time and effort when you're trying to sift through a large amount of information. In addition to its paraphrasing and summarization tools, Quillbot also offers a grammar checker. 
so you can make sure you don't have any silly mistakes in your text. Simply input your text and Quillbot will highlight any errors and provide suggestions on how to correct them. This is a great way to ensure that your writing is clear and concise. And last but not least, Quillbot offers a great feature called Co-Writer, an all-in-one writing space that combines all of the previously mentioned features. However, it also has an AI assistant autocomplete called Smart Start. You simply input your topic and Quillbot will provide you with a list of related keywords and phrases that you can use to jumpstart your writing. This is perfect for those who struggle with writer's block or for those who need a little inspiration to get started. It also has a suggest text option that will examine the previous text and then give you a drop down list of suggestions for your next sentence. You can choose whichever one you think fits best and it will automatically be added to your text. In summary, Quillbot is an amazing AI assisted writing tool that offers a variety of free features to help you with your writing. Whether you need help with paraphrasing, summarizing, grammar checking, or just simply finding synonyms, Quillbot is the buddy that will help you out with that. Let me know which tools you are planning to use and if there are any good ones that I didn't mention. I hope these tools will make it easier for you to achieve your academic and personal goals. I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time.